Welcome back guys, Bioptic Cyrus here with another episode of Competitive Journeys. Uh, last episode, we won one game, uh, lost two. So you know, improvements. Uh, the, the last game of the last episode was I didn't really do what I should have done and it cost me the game. But yeah, so yeah, we're, we're in with another episode. Um, as you can probably tell, I have recorded these in bulk. So I'm doing like three episodes at once. We're hoping to get to, I want to get to rank 10, you know. I get to Master Ball consecutively, uh, consecutively every season, but I kind of go on a bad run at the start, and then it gets a little bit better, so. I think that preserves your food here, actually. Yeah. So we'll leave me our stick dried on and have Lapras Urshifu in the back. Be interested to see what they lead. I'm guessing it's probably going to be Clefairy and um, Dracovish. Which will put me in a lot of problems. But I can always just protect... Protect Duraladon and maybe Trick Room. Which will make, make me faster than Geraladon, but then... Uh, not Geraladon, Dracovish. But then I'm sacrificing the rest of it. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. It's quite nice seeing like different teams though. You know, Lapras is very popular, obviously. But... Instead of just seeing every team just with like Rilla Boom and Cinderace, it's been quite oh, okay. Right, so we're gonna Thunder Wave Flash Cannon. It's probably gonna be Follow Me Clef. And then they'll get a couple of calls off. And then I'll go nap time. So. Or they're going to start throwing blind hypnosis. I don't know. We'll see. But. I think that's the safest play. Okay, ally switch. That's fine. Because I'm still going to hit. Because <sighs> it's another miss. As always. And. Clefairy's gonna drop. Okay. That's a good start. Here comes the coils. Now, how am I gonna deal with a melodic? I can't really drop its stats because of competitive. I mean, I've got Lapras. I've got Lapras in the back. We'll go for some flinchies. We're just all in the, uh, all in the melodic here. Hopefully, Thunder Wave doesn't miss. You know, I'm 99.9% .9 guaranteed that it probably will. You know, there's that point one that it might. It might actually land, but I'm not. I'm not feeling positive. Dynamax in Dranadon? I don't actually know. Probably Dranadon here. Yeah. Oh, G Max Dranadon. Okay. Haven't seen a G Max Dranadon in comp for a long time. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen it. Cool, so we get the Thunder Wave off. And now hopefully we get some Flinchy Flinch. Or Para Power Hacks. We shall see. Well, that does a nice little chunk of damage. That was a crit, though. And I'll buy Dragon.
That didn't go well. Muddy water. Okay, how do I deal with this? I feel like Lapras. And then we'll max lightning. And we'll uh T Wave Duraladon. And then we'll take out the uh the threat of being put to sleep here. And I've got Urshifu in the back, so I'm not too scared yet, but you know. I'm almost there, which is always good. So I am interested. What type of team are you running in uh, Series 6 so far? What have you had the best success with? What have you changed? You know, because obviously this is still... I'm still, like, trying to learn. So I'm on that, that process of where, okay, this isn't working. We'll switch it for this. And then we kind of go from there. I really like the Meowstic Duraladon opener, though. Although it, I do get the feeling that maybe Lapras and Duraladon need a bit more bulk on their EVs. So I might have to take a look at that. But it's going to go and reduce some PP energy again. Which is fine. Electric train, perfect. That was perfect. Psychic kill from that that angle. Don't think it will. And now we can get the Aurora Veil up as well. So I don't think Psychic KOs. Oh no, okay. Psychic KOs. And that does a hefty chunk as well. So yeah, we get the Aurora Veil up. Probably going to reduce my PP energy again. No, nope, max lightning. Okay. Then he's also going to trigger my weakness policy. Which is fine. Which is perfectly fine. Now, what have you got in the back? Dracovish. Oh, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Now, this Thunder Wave needs to land. This really needs to land. What one does more damage? 120, 130. I don't really want to get the rain up. Come on, please land. Perfect. Okay, Dracovish. I'm not even scared of Dracovish now. Not even scared. Lapras probably drops it. Oh, he's got a flash cannon into into Meowstic. He's realised that Meowstic is actually annoying. Hmm. We'll take that. And then just to be a bigger pest, we'll just. Uh, Drop the attack. I know the charm's not going to do anything, but just to. I don't know why. Yeah, GG. I don't know why I went for charm. I could have just gone for some damage, but you know, I kind of expected the the uh, the concede there. But yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that W. Always good. But yeah, meow stick can be such a pain if you can get the uh, the thunder waves off and obviously it runs trick room as well to then nullify trick room which has always been quite interesting getting the electric terrain up though was, was huge on that turn where I bought out the Lapras I don't know if the Duraladon would have outsped if I didn't get the thunder wave off on it I know Duraladon is uh, is pretty fast, but 
I don't know if it would have outsped the Lapras. Okay, so what have we got? Okay, this is a Sun team with a Barrascooter and I'm, I don't even know what type of Ash food that is. It's all like Comfy Lapras here. With maybe Urshifu Geranodon? Well, a Talonflame could be, do some damage here against uh, Leafeon at least. Uh, it depends what Urshifu type that is. I think it may be Geranodon. No, I think Tan and Flame are my own Urshifu. Yeah. We'll see what they lead with. Probably Sableye Charizard. Although they have got Nine Tails, so. Hmm. Charles on nine times, yeah. That's fine. Oh, Max Geyser into Charizard. How am I going to? Yeah. Oh, they're just going to double heat wave. If they double heat wave, this could be a problem. This could be a big problem. Maybe I should have led Tadden Flame and got the uh, got the Tailwind up. Yeah, I think they're going to double heat wave here. Ouch. Double miss. Okay. The Lapras. Lapras takes that. That's fine. We'll reset the sun at least. Bye bye, Zard. That was a hefty chunk of damage, though. Hmm. Power scooter, okay. We'll get a little bit of health off on uh, on Lapras. I don't know. This, this could have been a very bad idea by putting up the rain. Maybe I should have just gone for the electric. Max Lightning. Hmm. I still need to get Aurora Val up. So much damage. I think Lapras goes down here. Oh, that's so annoying. I should have trick roomed. I've got no answer here for uh, for Barrascooter. Yeah, I might just concede this. I shouldn't have got the rain up.
I should not have got the rain up. I mean, that did a lot of damage. Because I actually feel we'll drop here. Yep. And then here comes Heat Wave. The Heat Wave that never misses. You know, if it can miss Urshifu and Comfy, I'd be grateful. But I don't see it happening. Yeah, because it's choice, isn't it? I now Talon Flame. Talon Flame into a Barrascooter. Rip. This is all we can really do. Okay, yeah, that's well played. That is well played, and that's GG. I'm guessing the lap, the uh, the nine towers must be choice. I'm assuming it is. But I feel like I could still... Tannenflame can still win this. It can't really. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't see a way that Tannenflame wins this. Nope. Bye-bye. Yeah. I messed up. I should have just gone for the uh, Max Lightning. No, I knew that they had a Barra Scooter, but yeah, I still, I still... I set that up for them. I gave them that win, turn one. Yay, good job by Optic. You are a fucking genius. Oh, it's, I think this is going to be the last amount of nine games of comp today, and I haven't done well in any of them. Oh, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I think this is going to be the last one, and I'm going to put down comp for the night. Or I'm going to take a break because I've recorded, stopped, recorded, stopped. I haven't actually got up and walked away from, from the Switch, which I probably should do. Okay. I like, I like Lapras. I like Comfy. Sorry, no, that could be an issue. Duraludon and maybe Tannenflame? Yeah. Yeah, I like Tannenflame in this. I like the look of Tannenflame here. I think the next step is I need to start looking at the EV spreads and making them a bit more... making some of these Pokemon a bit more bulky. Because, you know, it's all well and good, them being able to deal out the damage, but when they can't withstand an attack, it's kind of like, what's the point? Get those Serena. Okay. I'm guessing that means I can't use Giga Drain here. So I guess we just go for the switch. Bring out Town Flame. Put him under some pressure. Get the Aurora Veil up, hopefully. It's a good opener, actually. To Serena and uh, Gallade. But then I'm thinking at the same time, though, you might trigger my weakness policy. Myself. Themselves, even. But if it's Queenly Majesty, which it probably is. I won't be living. Well, I won't be able to keep it rain anyway, so. I might as well switch out. Okay, so we can get. We get the Aurora Val up. And nearly 50%. I'm 
Max Knuckle into... Into Lapras, yeah, of course. But that's going to trigger the weakness. And Trick Room. Awkward. I feel like we go... In. That's gonna miss, isn't it? Oh! Of course! I forgot about that. That sucks. That really does suck. Yep. I'm such an idiot. I knew that he couldn't use priority moves, and yet I still let it. Ah, oh, so annoying. Yeah, I've got no answer. I have no answer. I should have just kept Comfy out and went for the Trick Room. I didn't think Galade would have run Trick Room, actually. Can I actually do anything here? Does Gale Wings only give priority for... I don't know. Probably. It probably gives priorities for all of it. Or is it only flying type moves? Oh, man, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Having Trick Room on Galay was pretty well played. I didn't expect it. What am I going for? Man. Yeah, I'm done with comp today, I think. I need to take a break. I definitely need, yeah, I definitely need to take a break. I'm not doing well at all. Standard, standard start to any season for Bioptic. And I'll get to Masterborn and I'll go on like a 12 game win streak. And then it's all fine again. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna run away from that. I even I knew it was Queenly Majesty. I even said it was Queenly Majesty. And what did I do? Bring out Tannin Flame. I'm a, I'm a genius. This is why you'll never see me at Worlds, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a little bit of a break from recording, uh, recording comp stuff anyway. I will probably do a couple more episodes a little bit later on. But yeah, that that ranking has probably gone all the way back down to the bottom. Five and seven. That's just so disappointing. Like, after how the season started for me as well, I felt so positive about this team. And now I don't feel positive about it at all. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just so bad. Anyway, guys, don't forget, you can find me live over at twitch.tv forward slash Bioptic Cyrus. Please do uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe and like the train wreck that is Competitive Journeys. Until next time, guys. Laters.